Stephen, it's a day of great pride for you and your family, but such are the times that we're living in right now. It must be very difficult to celebrate a moment like this. No, we're not. We're certainly, it is a, it is a, a good day, but it's certainly, we're not in celebratory mode. I, I feel, um, you know, our thoughts are with the frontline workers, really, you know, they've, the doctors, nurses, the paramedics, uh, everyone really, the self-sacrifice is, is heroic. And, um, you know, we, we, we really support them. Now, the new era is starting today in, in light of the COVID-19 pandemic and the disruption that that has brought to football. But it, it's meant that Mick McCarthy has vacated his position a couple of months ahead of schedule. Yes, I mean, Mick's obviously had a, a tremendous career as captain of Ireland and as, as manager of Ireland on two occasions. And, you know, he leaves, he leaves a, a legacy behind him and certainly... Uh, it's just unfortunate, you know, the, with the cancellation of the matches, it's been an unfortunate situation. But, um, you know, he, he's revered in Ireland uh, and, you know, the contributions over the last uh, couple of years of Robbie Keane and, and Terry Connor also and all of the staff. Football, of course, Stephen, is on hold at the moment, but we hope to be back playing sooner rather than later. And what a prospect you have ahead with the year ahead of you. Yeah, I feel it's it's um, it's an incredible year, really unprecedented. You've got uh, the Euro playoff against Slovakia, of course, and we've got the Nations League, six games in the Nations League, and also World Cup qualifiers this year. So that's never happened before, where you've got Euro playoffs, Nations League, and World Cup qualifiers in the same calendar year. Nine games between September and November, an incredible schedule and uh, very very exciting, uh, very very exciting year and. You know, we can. We have a lot to look forward to. And confirmation today that Keith Andrews, Damien Duff, and Alan Kelly are going to be working with you, with you with the senior team. You must be delighted with their appointments. Yeah, Keith, Keith has been coaching the Ireland under 16s, 17s, and 18s, and and coached with the under 21s for me this year. Uh, we, we had a great rapport, really, and uh, very forthright, and and I welcome that. And I think that's, um, you know. Uh, you know, he, he's done very well. Damien had, was with the Ireland under 15 and Damien Duff and did very well and has been a Shamrock Rovers and reports are with, with Celtics first team this season that he's been excellent there all year. And, and you know, very, very high work ethic and uh, a big addition uh, to, to the coaching team. Alan Kelly has a wealth of experience and a very analytical goalkeeping coach. So we're delighted to have him. And of course, you're leaving the under-21 team in safe hands now with Jim Crawford stepping up as manager and John O'Shea coming in as his number two. Yeah, you know, Jim Jim Crawford, you know, was Ireland under-18 manager and then he came in last year with the under-21s and he's made a great contribution really over, over the campaign. We're winning the group at the moment with three games left and uh, in the group. And so to, to try and qualify for the under-21 European Championships, that has now been put back a year, of course. And uh, John O'Shea alongside him, you know, a lot of experience uh, working with Reading. And uh, so they, I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll look forward to that challenge as well. Now, Stephen, there's a huge amount of positivity out there on, on your appointment. What's your message to the Ireland fans today? Well, I think, you know, at the moment... We've got to really stay safe, and I think, you know, we've got to look after each other. And um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, it's, it's a lot of tragedy throughout Europe and in in Ireland. Um, you know, people have been very very disciplined throughout the country, and hopefully we get the benefits from that. A lot of people have lost their lives, of course, and our thoughts are with them. And the Irish fans, we just there are better days ahead. You know, we feel there are better days ahead and uh, we can look forward in a sporting context to what is a magnificent year of football uh, in the Aviva Stadium uh, over, over, the, over the forthcoming year.